Hi, my name is Barbara Sukova. I'm here at Criterion in the closet and I'm excited about it but also a bit nervous because when I'm watching films I'm getting so involved in it that it's um, that I'm after watching a film I'm usually very exhausted and very often I just I forget it it's like um, a great kiss if you have a very long kiss with somebody afterwards you don't know what happened during the kiss you just remember it was wonderful and so uh, I often just remember like little snippets for example here I see three women from Ottman and I remember I absolutely loved that film but the only thing I really remember was that there uh, was the dress of the one woman I think of Shelley Duval it was always uh, uh, caught in the car, in the door of the car, and that is all that I remember about this woman. So I take that, definitely. I haven't seen it in a very long time. Oh, and right next to it is Ingmar Bergman, Scenes of a Marriage. Fantastic film, and I have to say, Ingmar Bergman is my greatest professional regret. Because I met Igmar Bergman in Munich, he saw me in the theater and he wanted to do a theater play with me and possibly a film and I turned him down. I, I don't know why to this day. I think I was influenced by the man I was living with at the time. He discouraged me. <laughs> I think he was afraid I might fall in love with him. But Liv Ullman is just one of the greatest actresses ever. Oh, here is The Leopard. I was doing a film with uh, Cimino, the Sicilian, and so that's why I watched The Leopard. And Cimino had this weird idea, actually a great idea, that all the actors in the film, they had to socialize with the people um, that they were playing. So I remember Josh Ackland had to go in some remote village in Sicily and uh, socialized with the mafia and I played an aristocrat and I socialized with the aristocrats in Sicily and so the leopard was wonderful to watch for that uh, yeah I take that and Visconti is of course visually it's, everything is so so beautiful oh husbands I love that film it was for me a whole new kind of film when I saw that for the first time. And in fact, I used to show that to my students because I was teaching acting for a short time uh, at a conservatory in Germany. I think our film acting in the 70s was still very much influenced by theater. And this was so new, this improvising and um, a bit gritty and I really loved that and I wanted my students to see that and I one day I, when I came one of the first times to New York it was in 84 um, I heard that Casavetes was um, rehearsing and a friend of mine here in New York said you can come I can sneak you into the theater and so I snuck myself into the theater and was sitting at the very end somewhere trying to hide and I watched the rehearsal and I was really was very excited and then they had a break and all of a sudden Ben Gazzara and Casavetes kind of m moved in the direction where I was sitting and I was saying, oh God, oh God, now they're going to discover me and they're going to say something why I'm here. And then uh, Casavetes said, hi, Barbara. And I thought, what? <laughs> and they asked me if I wanted to have lunch with them. And then I had lunch with them and he was, like I imagined he would be, very personal with the actors, very... Um, you know, gave them a lot of space. Um, I, I, I like the way he worked and uh, he said at the end he would like to work with me, but um, I think then he passed, you know. Mike Lee, naked, that was also an experience. That was very new for me to see that kind of acting, that, that kind of um, going really to the edge. And uh, I met him later because I was with him in the jury in Berlin. He was the president of the jury in the film festival and uh, I, I heard and I was talking to him that he did these very, very long rehearsals, which was the opposite of Fassbinder, with whom I worked. And I see that there's Berlin Alexanderplatz. That is when I met Fassbinder for the first time. And 
Yeah, the, he had this thing that he did only ever one take. There was a situation that I remember, I had a scene with Hanna Shigula and we were um, in a car and uh, they had to rig the camera on the car so he couldn't be with us. And so we did the scene without him. I think we were sitting in the car, reading a letter, laughing, something like that. And uh, so then the scene was done and he asked us, uh, so how was it? And we said, mm, yeah. And he said, you want to have another take? And we were, what, another take? We never have the chance to do another take. So we said, yeah, of course. We did another take and then we came back and then he said, so which one do we print? So we had to decide. Uh, it, it was a way of working that I loved, um, but very different. I think probably the opposite of Mike Lee. La Strada Fassbinder told me to watch before we did Berlin Alexanderplatz. And I think he wanted me to see Giulietta Mazzina and maybe her clownesque um, way of acting that is something that he thought had something to do with the role that I was then playing in Alexanderplatz. What I love is the simplicity of this film, the simplicity of the story, the... I, you don't need any special effect, you don't need any fancy cameras, it's just to look into the eyes of this person and, and, and to see these people interact with each other. Yeah, Julieta Mazzina, also one of the great ones.